Hi friends, in this layer we are going to publish data and create layer with our own data. For doing that, we will be need to create the workspaces, stores and layers. In earlier section, we have seen the workspaces, stores and layers and in this section, we will do the practical that how we can create our own workspace, stores and layers. Let's do that. So first of all, we will create a workspace. Before starting, let me tell you that these are the workspace which are coming as by default. So what we will do, we will delete all these workspaces which have come up as by default. Let's remove the selected workspace. As we are going to delete the workspaces, we are getting a warning message that if we will delete this workspace, our related stores and layers will be deleted and similar to layer groups. So do you want to continue? Let's do that. Let me tell you that if we will delete these, these layers will also be deleted and the related layers groups as well. Let's try to delete the workspaces first. Remove selected workspaces, click on OK. Now you can see that our all the workspaces have been removed. Now let's check the stores. We have no stores. We have let's check layers. We have no layers here. Okay. Let's check the layer groups. We have no layer groups here as well. We have one more section here, styles. Styles are independent. So these particular styles were not related with this particular workspaces. So these have not been removed. We will delete these as well later. First need to understand the workspace stores and layers. So let's create our first workspace. Add new workspace. Now we need to provide a name. Let's provide a name as workspace ws underscore test. Okay. Now we need to give the namespace URI. Here we need to understand that what is the namespace URI. Let's click on submit. This is asking to provide a URI. So we have got an error message. So this is the must. Here we need to provide a URL. Which URL? This can be any URL any URL. For example, we may provide here as http colon slash slash google.com. This will also work. But the best practice is this that we should provide the URI related to our project. For example, if we have a project named as testproject.com. This is the name of our project. Okay. So we what we can do? We can provide the testproject.com. Again, I am telling you that this is not mandatory to provide the only http colon slash slash testproject.com. We can provide any URL here that will work. This is used to provide a uniqueness. GeoServer does the uniqueness with the help of this namespace URI. Okay. Now let's click on submit button. So the workspace has been created with the name of ws underscore test. Now let's create a store. Now we will click on add new store. Here we need to provide the data source. What should be the data source? We may have the directory of spatial files, geo packages, postgis and so on. Here what we will do that we will create the layers with the shape files. And we will have the multiple shape files here. But from where we can get the data? We will use the same data as used by GeoServer, which comes as by default. And that is available under the data directory. So first of all, we will need to have the data directory. What we will do to get that particular data directory, we will go to the server status. 
and we will copy this particular data directory path control c paste here so this is the data directory here we have the folder named as data let's go inside this particular folder here we have four folders and the first folder is nyc under which we have the shape files now what we will do we will create a new folder here named as test and we will copy all these shape files from nyc folders to this particular test folder okay now what i am going to do i am going to publish all these layers first of all by creating a stores so let's do that here we will choose the directory of spatial files now the workspace which was the default is coming here automatically we need to provide the namespace of data source let's give this ds underscore test here we can provide the data description of our data source so data source of test and let's give the complete path here we have all the folders which are coming under the data directory let's choose this particular folder data and then we will choose the test folder all the shape files are coming here now we need to click on ok button okay now we need to create the save button here so now as you can see that we have created the stores and now we are in the step to publish the layers here we have four layers which are coming four shape files these are coming from the shape files and the system is asking us to publish these let me tell you we can publish from here as well or we can publish the layers from this layer sections as well so first of all as we have created the stores let's go to the store section and see that what is there okay so here we have the store name ds underscore test which has been created now let's publish a particular layer we will click on layers we have no layer here now we will click on add a new layer we will choose a layer from which data source we will click this ws underscore test colon ds underscore test okay now first of all let's publish this giant underscore polygon layer i will click on publish link here here we need to provide the name what should be the name of this particular layer and what should be the title of this particular layer so the default name and default title is coming from the name of the shape file we can change it here as well let's give the name as polygon layer and title as polygon title now we have the abstract section in this section we can give the detailed description of our particular layer that what is the data source of this layer and for example this is the layer of places so we can give the detailed description here okay then we have the section of keywords we can provide the keywords here now let's come on the coordinate reference system here we are getting the default srs 4326 which is defined which has been provided in the shape files itself if that particular srs is not available in the shape files then we can change it from the clicking here 
sorry from here fine and we can choose a particular SRS from this particular list so we are not going to change this as the coordinate reference system here is 4326 now we need to provide the boundary box that under which boundary box this particular shape files or layer exist for that we what we will do we will click here the compute from data it will automatically fill then we will click on compute from native bounds okay then we will simply click the save button we will see this CQL as well but let's first publish this layer So we will click here save button our layer has been published let's see this under layer preview now what we will do we will see this layer that how this exactly looks like for that what we will do we will click on open layers see so this was the shape files this is the data which was available under the shape file. Let's publish another layer. To publish next layers, what we will do, we will click on layers. Then we will click on add a new layer. Then add layer from, we will choose the data source. Now we will choose the publish now we will choose this particular POI layer now we will click on this published link here the default name and title is coming I am not going to change that what I will do now I will calculate the bounding box by clicking on compute from data then I will again click here for compute from native bounds then I will click on save button now the layer has been published now I will go in layer preview here the layer is coming with name as POI we will click on open layers now you can see that point data is coming This data was available in shape file. We can see this. Here we can adjust the height and weight. So here we saw that how we can publish the shape files. Now in a similar way we can publish all the layers available in that particular folder or particular data source. Here we have the poly landmarks and tiger roads. We can publish these layers in a similar way. So this was the section under which we saw that how we can publish the layers. So in our next section we are going to use this layer in our own web application. As you saw here that when we were clicking on open layers this web page was opening. This was the application under the geo server itself. Now we will create our own application by using the open layers. Let's see this in our next section. Thank you.